How's it going guys? Hope you guys caught some fish this weekend. Uh, I got a special video for you today. It's kind of an idea that I've had for a while and I actually never really thought about making a video on this but uh, I'm gonna do it anyways and it's fishing with old school bass lures. So uh, I have my grandpa's tackle box uh, with me but what I wanted to do is take some of those lures and a lot of them are older lures and tie them up on some rods and go fishing with them and see if I can catch some fish with them. We're gonna make it a challenge. We're gonna get six or seven lures out of the box. We're gonna pick them and we're gonna see if we can catch a fish on each one. We'll count bass, pike, uh, pickerel, uh, crappie, whatever. So here's the tackle box. Let's see what's inside. Uh, they, this is a seven, five, 757 Plano. Definitely an older tackle box, that's for sure. I, uh, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but I didn't take anything out or add anything to the to this box. So this is pretty much how he left me, the box. I thought this was cool. Um, this is South Bend Bait Company, I guess. Kind of an interesting looking lure. Let's start at the top. We've got, you know, and I honestly, guys, I don't know what a lot of these lures are called or what company they're from. It's the Dying Flutter. We're going to throw that tomorrow for sure. Kind of an interesting looking plug. Another old wooden bait. These are flatfish. These, are, I think, are for pike and muskie, so we're not going to really use any of those. We got a jitterbug. A couple just poppers. We got a sputterbug. And look at some of these frogs. Is that like the oldest hollow bodied frog in the world? That's going to be a tough hookup ratio for sure. That's interesting looking. It's got a cool little design on it though. Huh. Yeah, if any of you guys have some of these lures or have seen some of these lures that I'm not naming, let me know. Let me know what they're called. Classic, the Daredevil. Uh, little George. We're going to definitely throw one of these tomorrow. Last tray. Looks like a lot of jerk baits, jointed body baits. Yeah, that's basically what's in... Uh, the tackle box. You know, it's kind of interesting looking at a lot of these lures, you can kind of see the similarities between some of our newer style lures or newer baits that they put out uh, in comparison to these older older style baits. And it's, you know, you can kind of see the evolution as to how the baits we have today got where they are. So that's, I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so let's uh, tie on some lures and let's rig up. We are all rigged up. Got four rods on deck that we're going to bring with us tomorrow. Uh, let's just go over them real quick. First bit we've got is, it's not a daredevil. This is a Zebco Handy Lure. And I have this combination on a Gander Mountain. It's a uh, 610 medium heavy rod. It's a Gander Mountain Guide Series rod paired with a loose speed spool. And I've got 10 pound vicious fluorocarbon. The next uh, bait I have is the uh, wooden bait out of the um, South Bend lure box. I've got that paired on a Denali Frogwood, the Rosewood series. Uh, I've got that paired with the Bass Pro Shops uh, Pro Qualifier. And that's got 50 pound braid. The only spinning combo I'm gonna be bringing with me tomorrow and it's got the Little George on it. I've got that on a Maxim spinning rod with a Shimano Stratic CI4. And I've got 12 pound Power Pro braid on this combination. I said I was going to pick out seven or eight baits, and that's the truth. Uh, the problem is, I don't have enough rods to kind of cover the spectrum of baits that I want to throw, uh, mainly because about four of the baits would, for me at least, qualify for the same combination. So it's basically my top water uh, frog combination. And that's my lithium, Denali lithium frog rod. Um, and I've got that paired with a uh, quantum smoke. Uh, right now I've got that little hollow bodied frog on there. I'm gonna, you know, throw the dying flutter on there. A sputter bug. And this wooden lure. <laughs> I don't know what that's called either. So if you guys know, please let me know. So that's seven different baits. So that's, that's the challenge right now. Seven, seven different uh, lures to catch a fish on. Remember, it can be a bass, pike, any species. Uh, that's the goal, to catch at least one fish on each bait, and we'll see how we do fishing with some old school bass lures. All right guys, six o'clock, Saturday morning, um, and it looks like I'm gonna get about a three hour window before it starts to uh, storm, so uh, let's get out there and uh, utilize the little bit of time that we have to try to catch some fish.
Okay guys, it's uh, about 11 o'clock right now. Um, I had to get off the water about 10 o'clock. Um, you know, we knew that I knew the storm was coming. Uh, so I got a solid four hours out on the water. And the rain, you know, I didn't mind the rain. I can fish in the rain, but as soon as I saw that lightning, uh, I got off the water. Not really the day I expected to have out there. Um, I had kind of perfect conditions for a lot of these baits. A lot of these baits are top water baits. And I kind of had prefrontal conditions and the top water bite was definitely on this morning I just couldn't capitalize um, I think honestly the biggest thing uh, that I could have done differently was change the hooks out um, I used the hooks that were on the baits already and a lot of them you know just they're just not as sharp anymore and they're you know maybe even a little bit too big for some of the baits <laughs> only two fish in the boat today a pike and a bass a lot of fish you know blowing up on these baits a lot just coming on button these were the only two that I didn't get a bite on, the little George and then this frog. Caught the pike on the dying flutter. Caught the lone bass of the day on the sputter bug. Lost a good bass near the boat first thing in the morning on this guy. And had one good blow up on this bait. Oh, and the other bait that uh, I got a bite on and I lost it was the spoon. And I'm pretty sure a pike uh, has that in its mouth somewhere in the lake. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Ah!